Welcome. This is Non-Performing Note Analysis Spreadsheet video tutorial number one. My name is Jeffrey Smith. This is an Excel spreadsheet where you can input the values for a defaulted non-performing note over on the left side. You can put in the repositioned operating data, repositioned note parameters, that you get from a pro forma on how the underlying property will operate after you have repositioned the property and stabilized the tenant base. Simply put in the current operating data, the current note parameters, the yellow cells are input fields, Then put in the repositioned operating data. This is pro forma. This is a future prediction of how the property will operate after it's been fixed up and improving the tenant base. And you recast the note to reasonable terms. You can even put in syndication parameters if you want to syndicate this deal to multiple note buyers. On the repositioning parameters, you put in additional costs, including an assignment fee, a percentage of this investment to debt. You put in a net yield down here for your private financiers, and the spreadsheet will calculate the note purchase price to achieve this yield. I also have some default values for critical days, such as the number of days for your financiers to review the opportunity, the number of days until closing, the number of days they have to commit their funds after they've been notified, the total number of days in escrow. This includes your due diligence period. Banking retention days is the number of days that your master fee agreement will be active. I'll talk about the various mail merge templates later. You also have note holder parameters for the person or the company that is holding the note and selling it to you. Over here we have a button that will attempt to equalize the capitalization rates. Here we have a defaulted cap rate for the property, 8.46%. Here we have the repositioned cap rate, 8.94%. If you want, you can select these radio buttons to try to calculate a cap rate that equalizes both of these numbers. You can calculate the loan to value rate, the annual interest rate, or the amortization periods. We'll just leave this alone for now. Up here you specify the loan number. This is a pick list. You can have an entire portfolio or just a reference number if that's how the note seller operates. The asset type, usually a non-performing note, but you can also contract with the seller to purchase a portfolio of non-performing notes, or bulk REO, which is just a property portfolio, more than one foreclosed property. On the note buyer page, this is the same as on the working with realtors spreadsheet, you can enter in all the contact information for a note buyer. Once you fill it in here, you can click the Add button and it will add that information over to the note buyer's worksheet. You can export or import note buyers using a comma separated values plain text file. When you're all done entering in all of your note buyers, click the Build button. That will build the worksheet mail merge note buyers 
which is what you would use to import into mail merge for the opportunity mail merge template. Now if we go over to Word, let's click on New. Let's try a letter of intent. When this requester pops up, always click No and point it at the comma separated values text file that you saved when you did your original analysis. Right now I'll use it as a example. The letter of intent comes up. Alt M P will preview the mail merge and it gives you a letter of intent. Some of the fields are missing like the note holder information but for this example this is fine. This is basically all you need in a letter of intent to the note seller after you've reviewed their tape of distressed assets. The tape is just an Excel spreadsheet. You can do a save as in preview mode and save as a PDF and then you can email that PDF file to the note holder. Down here on the signature line I recommend that you insert a picture a JPEG image of your signature. You could save that as a template and then you don't have to insert the picture each time you generate one of these mail merge templates. You can introduce yourself to a note holder with this mail merge template. Has the recipient's contact information and basically explains in a summary that you want to buy their distressed assets, either properties as bulk REO or as non performing notes. Under the Opportunity Mail Merge, you want to import the Mail Merge data from the Mail Merge Note Buyers Worksheet. Simply hold the Alt key, MRE, for existing list. You want to navigate over to where you saved the copy of Non Performing Note Analysis Spreadsheet. And then under this, it's you want to select a table. Go down to where it says Mail Merge Note Buyers. Make sure the first row of data contains column headers checkbox is checked. Now Alt MP fills in the Mail Merge. And you can still edit this Word document to take out the stuff that doesn't belong or if you want to add anything to it. I have my JPEG image of my signature here. This includes an exhibit of how the underlying collateral is operating now and the non-performing note its current parameters and the after repositioning operating data and you intend to recast the note in this way after you buy the note. And for the entire asset purchase you also include some calculations for repositioning and your assignment fee. And some ratios of the total investment funds over the unpaid balance rate, capitalized property value rate, and the after repositioning value rate. Notice that the asset purchase price, which is what you're paying for the note itself, is about 20% of the unpaid balance. That's about where you want to be for a non-performing note. But when adding in all the other costs, we have these other ratios here. These are still good numbers.
and syndication parameters you're reserving one membership unit for yourself you're selling nine membership units the unit price that you're selling is 85,155 and the net profit after the property is repositioned and refinanced or sold will be 92,460 you're including a $10,000 asset management fee because you want to stay in the deal and supervise the project the membership total funds 766399 and we have calculations here for the private financiers net yield and gross yield your cash flow would be 10% of the interest portion of the repositioned note the membership cash flow the nine units is 104394 that represents 13.62 percent annualized return on the membership total funds this is a very good deal it's paying double digit yields on their initial investment and they're doubling their investment when the note is redeemed now notice here on the recast note we made sure that the annual debt service was affordable with the current net operating income so the owner who's in a lot of trouble he's not going to get any cash flow during this repositioning project but he's not experiencing negative cash flow and we're giving him created equity in the deal 724,000 for his part and he'll have positive cash flow when the property is repositioned and stabilized 114,000 of net positive cash flow his debt coverage ratio goes from a negative cash flow of 0 0.70 to positive cash flow 2.13 that is a very good debt coverage ratio he can tolerate recessionary pressure on income and expenses for a long time now we don't want to hold this note forever so we may want him to just cash it out do a refinance and under these terms with 70 percent loan to value he could get a refinance loan to pay us off you would save as a PDF file you could generate this mail merge template for everyone in your note buyers list and blast it out or you could just delete the contact information up here and just send it as a generic opportunity to everyone in your list the master fee agreement this is what you would sign with the note holder which is called the asset seller in this agreement if you're buying a note you would include the note parameters here otherwise you would just triple click these lines and delete them all you would need is just the asset type and the asset purchase price this master fee agreement guarantees that you'll be paid your fee which in this case is 10.55 percent times the asset purchase price $37,820 now this fee is coming from the note buyer or the asset buyer it's included in the total investment funds calculation so all the seller really has to do is collect this fee as part of the escrow deposit that your asset buyers will wire into escrow and then at the close of escrow it'll be paid out to you
An interesting part of this master fee agreement is that it includes a clause for arbitration and attorney's fees may not be awarded by the arbitrator. This is a clause that says, hey, if there's a dispute, you first have to go to binding arbitration and attorney's fees will not be awarded. That means that whoever wants to bring an action against this agreement, they're stuck paying their own attorney's fees, regardless of whether they win. And then there's information down here for the seller information that comes from the spreadsheet. That's how easy it is to analyze a non-performing note with spreadsheets and mail merge templates. This has been Non-Performing Note Analysis Spreadsheet, video tutorial number one. My name is Jeffrey Smith and thank you for your support.